Hi, gonna talk about meditation today. Um, something that I do highly recommend as it is so good for your mind and also very good for your body. Meditation doesn't mean that you've got to sit in a yogi position, legs crossed, hands on your knees. Um, it can be done anywhere, at any time, in any position you feel comfortable in. I sometimes just pull the car over if I've been on a long drive or things are a little bit stressful. Just pull the car over and I lay by and, and just meditate. A five minute, ten minute meditation can make all the difference to your day. And people say, I can't fit meditation into my day, it takes too long. Well, you can fit it around things. Um, this is a good thing with meditation. You can do it anywhere. Even if you are in an office, you get half an hour lunch break. You can eat your lunch. You, you've got 10 minutes left. Just sit on a patch of grass, in the car, wherever, and just meditate. A lot of people, including myself, I am very guilty of this. I struggled to meditate for a very, very long time. Um, because my mind was just so busy all the time, couldn't concentrate on things. And to meditate, I found it very, very hard. But by persevering with it, you can actually make it work. It's it's crazy how much of a change I've had in myself by meditating. When I first started, I would find that I would close my eyes, my mind was going crazy and I'm thinking to myself, how can I do this? It, this isn't meditating, this is just sitting down and dwelling on problems or I'm thinking about work. But eventually, over time, I learned to control those thoughts. Every time a thought popped into my head, I just visualised scrumping it up into a piece of paper and throwing it out. And then I'd have a couple of minutes of silence and then another thought would come in. I'd do the same, visualise it as a piece of paper, scrumple it up, chuck it out. Until eventually I can sit here for half an hour with a totally clear mind and not think of anything. And for me to say that is something really huge because my mind never, ever settled. It was on the go all the time, day and night constantly busy but now it's I've learned to just block out things and just calm myself just total relaxation and people say about visualizing things they can't visualize some people can't you, you can try and force it if it's not natural then you, you can't do it it's not your fault there are many 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 people out there that just cannot visualize. Sometimes you can just relax enough to open your mind up to allow the visualizations to come through. Even myself, if my mind's a bit crazy, I find visualizing a, a bit hard, but eventually your, your own mind allows you to do what it needs to do. So, Five, ten minutes meditation a day is just wonderful. Just sit somewhere nice and quiet. Even if you can get to a beach or a park, try and concentrate on the sounds around you. The sounds of the waves on the beach or the wind blowing up and down on the sand or grasses being moved back and forth. Um, if you're at a park, then hear the sounds of nature. So if you can count five different animals or noises around you, concentrate on those. Those will all help you relax into meditation. You can have deep, deep meditation where you can really lower your own heart rate down and have a proper full deep meditation and then come back out of it and go, wow. That is, it's beautiful to feel that because you you just come out of it so relaxed. Sometimes you need that, sometimes you don't. Just those five minutes of just clearing your mind can help you rejuvenate your body and your mind and push you through the rest of the day. There's no specific time th that you need to meditate. 
Some people do it when they get up. Some people before they go to bed. I find personally if I do it before I go to bed, I have a bit of a restless night because my re my meditations rejuvenate me. So it gives me a bit more energy and I'm a bit more alert. So night times is not a good time for me to meditate. Everybody is different. And when you begin to meditate, you will find the part of the day that you will feel best. So play around with it. If you, if, you, if you try it in the morning when you first get up, you might find that you might go back to sleep. Don't worry about it. You might be late for work, but it's one of those things. It is trial and error of when is the best time for you to do your meditation. Now, falling to sleep when you meditate, don't worry. Your body's just shutting down. It needs to relax. And you've given it that time to do that. While you're sleeping, your body is healing. Your mind is being cleared. So don't worry if you fall asleep. It's one of those things. We all do it. It's not natural when you first begin. You feel a bit awkward. You, you're not sure if you're doing it right. There are loads and loads of self-help guides to meditations online. YouTube meditation, five-minute meditation, things like that. It's all there to help you. You will work out what's best for you, when is best for you. So don't worry, don't stress about it. But if you can fit that five, ten minutes into your day, it will make a huge, huge difference. 